Okay, hello everyone. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to install this. So this guy here. So first off, we'll start with it unplugged. The first thing you want to do is you actually want to go into device manager. And once you are in device manager, you'll go to the bottom and right down here you will end up seeing Xbox peripherals um, when you plug this in here. So that is now plugged in and it pops up up here. So as you can see, Xbox gaming device popped up. Now, just to prove that there are no actual drivers for this thing, I will go ahead and I'll uninstall it. And then it is gone. I will unplug this here and then replug it in. So now that it is replugged in, boom. So now we have this. Um, if you are not seeing this and you're seeing some sort of hazard symbol, go ahead and right click, hit update drivers, browse my computer, let me pick from a list, and then choose this one here. Uh, there are a few other options if this one does not work for you, but this is the one that I use. And then just hit next, it will install the drivers, and then close. And then you can actually go ahead and jump out of this. This is all you need to do. So once that is done, um, just to kind of prove to you that this is the case, I will go ahead and unplug my guitar quickly. And so you can see this here. I'll put that there. Um, so the guitar is now unplugged. Now I will show you from here. When I do this, it is for sure connecting to this. Um, now the way that you will know is when you go and you hit the Xbox button, the Xbox stuff will pop up, the hub screen or whatever you call it. Um, so that is when you know that you are connected to this the proper way. So once you're here, uh, Xbox for whatever reason is very finicky about the way that their controllers are used. I'm not sure whether it is a rights thing or whatever it may be. Um, but there are very few softwares that actually use this. So, to do this correctly, you will go to ReWASD, you will go to their website, you will click download, and this is a pretty awesome program. Um, I actually did uninstall it so I could show you guys how I used it. Uh, yes. So once that is done, agree and install. And then it wants me to reboot. I'm really hoping I'm not going to have to. So, okay. And it's wanting me to reboot. So real quick, we will go ahead and reboot my computer. So I'm gonna stop recording on the computer. I'm gonna keep recording on the phone. And let's see, power, restart, and restart anyway. So I just recently had some issues with my computer. I installed Node.2 and it has corrupted the boot, so I have to jump into BIOS every time to go into Boot Manager and allow it to boot. BIOS is on this screen. I go to Boot, I'm gonna go to this here. Okay. So now hopefully it will be booting and allowing us to get in here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now as you can see, this is back to up and running. Um, just to prove to you this is the case, let me go ahead and get my Yes, back up. Okay, so we should be back on the computer as well. This is still like this, and just to show you, I'll go ahead and do this again. K 
Okay, so that is good. Now when I hit the button, game bar pops up and pop goes away. Okay, so as long as that is the case, you should be good. Um, let's see. So now we are going to go to WRWASD. Um, I have a license with them, so mine popped directly up. I still have my previous stuff saved. Um, but just to show you, when I go and I click green, it hits A, B, Y, X. So these are all mapped according to this on the screen. Um, so what I have is I just have A is 1, B, 3, da 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 da, all the way through. Um, the ones that you're going to have to worry about is 6 is going to be down on the D-pad, 7 is going to be up on the D-pad, um, 8, 9 you can leave as start and select, but 0 is going to be um, the whammy bar. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that is down. Uh, it is right. Okay, it is right on the D-pad. Or on the, um, the thumbstick, the left thumbstick. So, with that being said, I don't know of a way to do tilt. But currently, these are the setups that I use. Um, once this is good and the remap is on, you can actually click out of this program and you can launch Clone Hero. So I'm launching Clone Hero now. And just to prove to you, so I will press start and then green and boom. And now I will play a track that I'm going to do terrible at because I am not that great at this game. Uh, let's go ahead and do A simple song, real quick, would be nice. Uh, something. Something I'm not going to fail at right off the bat. Sure. This works. So. Just to show, once this is unplugged, one of these days, if I can get this thing to unplug. So there, this is gone now. And once I plug this back in, okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. said I think that is well enough to show you how to use it that is all you have to do is just have the REWASD program have this installed with the proper driver um, the proper driver being the one that you install yourself from device manager and that should be it um, with those things you should be fine to go ahead and play um, just make sure, here I'll show you again, if you need to, pause the video here and you can see my current setups for WASD. Uh, da, da, da. So these are my current setups for WASD for Clone Hero. So other than that, uh, you guys have a great rest of your week and peace.